Hey everyone, uh, we'll give it a couple seconds here to get as many people as possible in and so um, you know once uh, once we get about uh, a couple more people in here we'll, we'll get started for you. So give it about another 30 seconds to a minute here. All right, well, hi everyone. Welcome to the latest Winning Edge pep talk. I'm Brian Stanchak, founder and president of the BDS Agency, uh, a sport management firm that exclusively advises, markets, and represents college basketball coaches. And we're based in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Uh, prior to founding the agency, the BDS Agency, I worked for 10 years as a college basketball coach at the Division I level at Seton Hall University. Fairleigh Dickinson University and the University of Pennsylvania. Um, following my coaching career, I stepped onto the administrative side of things and became the athletic director over at Penn State Wilkes-Barre. Um, during my time as an AD, I was advising a lot of coaching friends on managing situations with their administration, um, interview preparation, contract negotiations. And so after many of these coaches were having success in terms of advancing their career or obtaining much better contracts I really saw that um, you know there was a need for an agent who prioritized basketball coaches at all levels particularly women's basketball coaches and um, you know I realized that having that firsthand knowledge of the inner workings of both sides of intercollegiate athletics as a coach and administrator um, having conducted coaches searches myself and negotiated coaches contracts myself would be uniquely valuable and would be an asset to coaches that really no other agent in the industry possessed. Um, and so, you know, that that's kind of my first piece of advice here as I'm kind of telling my story is that, you know, um, I'm not someone who just, you know, went to business school or, or went to law school and decided, hey, I love sports and so I want to become an agent. You know, I'm sincerely invested in becoming in, in helping coaches because I was one myself. Um, I want to be able to help them grow their careers, maximize their career, be protected as much as possible. And so my value is not of, you know, someone who just went to law school and decided, hey, working in sports is going to be fun. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, my value is I was on, I was a coach. I walked in their shoes. I know how hard they worked on a daily basis. So as you're thinking about becoming an agent, um, think about what your unique value is that you're going to bring to the table other than just, you know, having a good education, um, or, or liking sports. What's your, what's your real life experience that's going to be able to set you apart. Um, so the BDS agency was founded in 2013 with the objective of taking some of the off the court pressure away from our clients through career counsel, professional development, marketing, job placement support, interview preparation, and contract negotiations. Um, basically, I formed my company's objectives looking back on my own coaching career as if I were still a coach, what would I want from an agent? And so that's how I perceive my work with my clients and what I offer. It's not about just helping, uh, making a call to an AD once a job's available or helping you negotiate a contract when you're offered one, whether it's in a new position or whether it's an extension. I want to do everything I can to help prepare you for that opportunity when it arises so we can make sure that we're maximizing any opportunities that could be in front of you and you're not looking back with any regrets in terms of the opportunities um, that could be presented. Um, you know, to be honest, I feel like we work with um, the greatest coaches in the country. I mean, uh, we're highly selective about the clients that we represent and that has resulted in tremendous success with our clients obtaining new positions and earning better contracts and bettering their experience in their current situation. Um, you know, I, I sincerely feel like we work with great, not just great coaches, but, but great people. 
And so, um, you know, it's easy for me to want to put my name behind and help these coaches maximize the potential through through their career. Um, I see uh, a message from the winning edge, so I'm glad that we're, we're going up in our viewers here. Um, you know, I, I'm intensely passionate about working with coaches and helping them maximize their career. Um, you know, and I think that, you know, I feel that if I do my part and my clients do their part, you know, it's going to translate to success. Um, we've worked with 17 clients who've become first-time Division One head coaches, uh, three clients who obtained um, new Division One head coaches, uh, head coaching positions at a higher level, um, seven clients who have, t who have obtained non-Division One head coaching positions, meaning um, – Division two, II, Division three, NAI head coach positions, and then numerous assistants have moved on to to better assistant coaching positions. But um, you know the the big thing for for me is that you know the success we've had, and and you learn this as as an agent is the success that you have is a testament to the clients that you represent. You know, I cannot do it alone. It is not me. It is because I work with great coaches and great people. And that's why we have the success that we have is because we work with some tremendous, um, tremendous coaches. Um, you know, I can't believe that I'm fortunate enough to do what I do every single day, um, especially as an entrepreneur. Um, my clients, they, they fuel my motivation. I mean, there's no question about it. I can't thank them enough for believing in me as much as I believe in them. And, and that partnership is invaluable. Um, there's nothing better than being a small part of helping my clients reach their dream or obtain their goal. Um, that's why, you know, it never gets old. Um, I travel to, and you can see some of the pictures in the background, you know, I travel to... Uh, most of my clients press conferences and and even if I'm there for five minutes, whatever it is, just having been a coach, I understand how hard uh, my clients work, how hard coaches work, the sacrifices that they make for for their jobs, and how coveted these head coaching positions are and so uh, to be there on that special day that they've worked so hard for it, it will never get old. Um, I think I've only missed like two or three press conferences, and that's only because um, we've had multiple ones on the same day. So I guess that's a good problem to have. But, you know, being there on their special day is, is tremendous. Um, <clears throat> I want to, uh, you know, that, that's kind of a background into, you know, myself and the BDS agency. But, you know, I really want to open it up to discussion. Um, any questions that you may have, I'm happy to answer um, to be able to help tailor this, you know, these next 20 minutes towards helping answer questions that you may have to help you reach your goal or decide if this is something that this is a career that you really want to focus on. Um, so, you know, feel free to add comments um, there and I'll answer any questions that you have um, and, and be happy to help in any way. Um, being that, you know, most of the those involved with the Winning Edge program are students. Um, let's start with, you know, the edu educational component of becoming an agent. Um, kind of, I, I hit on this a little bit before, um, you know, a bachelor's in business or marketing degree are, are probably the best majors to assist in your development um, as an undergrad. Um, and, and those are the best majors in terms of gaining some of the skills necessary of, of becoming an agent. Um, a postgraduate degree is also critical, whether it's a law degree or a master's, um, just to be able to further your knowledge of uh, the business side of sports um, or the legal side of sports. That's, that's critical in terms of um, adding to your value as an agent and you know again as I said before you know I, I don't have a law degree we work closely with um, one of the premier sports attorneys in the entire country um, when necessary but you know for for me um, you know my expertise in terms of specific coach contracts um, I, I feel like it far surpasses anyone in the industry because I've been on the other side of the table negotiating them myself as an AD um, and you know I feel like I've been able to 
um, you know, gain that gain that firsthand knowledge. That's that's invaluable. Um, you know, to be honest, uh, you know, some of the most popular or most famous and successful sports agents for coaches, um, like Jimmy Sexton in football, you know, doesn't he didn't even it doesn't even have his master's degree, and he's done really well. And so, you know, there's a lot of intangible skills that are necessary to be able to um, be successful in terms of being an agent and um, communication skills, uh, creativity, accessibility, um, little minuscule, uh, what might seem as minuscule um, skills are go a long way within the industry. Um, as, I, as I said before, you know, um, what unique value are you going to bring? to your agency, um, you know, having, having played a sport, um, that you're going to represent coaches or players in, um, having worked in athletic administration, you know, whatever it may be, you know, there's a lot of people who go to school and go into a sports management program or sports law program and decide, Hey, I want to be a sports agent, but you know, what are you going to do that's going to separate yourself? And so that's the biggest thing that I really want you to take out of today is to think about not just, okay, getting my education, which is critical, but okay, at the same time as getting my education, what type of things am I going to do to separate myself um, and bring a unique value to my agency that I can help sell to my clients, whether it's, um, you know, volunteer work, again, haven't played a sport, um, whatever it may be, do something to think about separating yourself from everyone else that's out there. Um, feel free to, to ask questions. Like I said, um, you know, I got a couple more topics I, I'm going to speak on and um, then we'll get to them. Actually, you know, the one question that I get a lot is what's a typical day like for an agent? Um, I could be traveling to visit a client one day to negotiate a contract for a client the next to um, helping a client work through a Title IX issue the next day to making, a, making calls to help a client fill an assistant coach position. Um, that's what I love about my job is that no day is the same. No day is typical. It's not a standard nine to five job. And if you think that that's the type of schedule you want to work, then this is not the profession for you. Having been a coach and really worked around student athlete schedules, whether it was in class or in recruiting, um, I'm familiar with the 24 hour a day, no holiday, 365 uh, grind that comes with um, someone that works in the sports industry. And so for, for me, I'm used to that. But, you know, you don't clock out at a certain time as, as an agent. Uh, if my clients need something from me, um, I'm there and I'm going to help. And if I can't help them, we try to find someone that can help them through their situation. Um, you know, to be honest, I feel like, you know, my investment in my own company and agency, I work harder than I ever did as an AD and a coach. I work my butt off in those positions. And so the fact that, you know, I've been, um, you know, I'm, in, I'm sincerely invested in this and, and I don't want to let my clients down. I want to help them reach whatever potential that they have. And so, you know, I, I put in a ton of hours and um, I put in meaningful hours. You know, anyone can say, oh, I go to I work 10 hours a day. Well, what are you doing during those 10 hours? You know, how many of those hours are meaningful hours? Um, how many of those hours are hours that you're, um, you're putting into your job and, and putting into your clients and putting into helping your company grow or, or your development as an agent. So, you know, don't just say you work hard. Working hard is not about, you know, the number of hours that you put in. Working hard is what you're doing in those out during those hours um, to, again, help your company grow, make your clients better, um, helping in your development. And, you know, the, the other thing to take away is that it's, it's not about you, you know, as an agent. It's about your clients. You know, you're providing you're providing a service um, to your clients, and um, you know I'm upfront with all my clients. Um, you know, I let them know I can't promise anything. I can't promise I can get you an interview. I can't promise I can get you a job. I mean, we obviously have a tremendous track record of success, but um, 
you know, I don't control what jobs are open. I don't control, you know, what, what schools are looking for. Um, but if there is that fit, we're going to work our butt off to try to put coaches in a great position um, to be able to get that position. Or we're going to work our butt off to make sure that coaches um, contract, whether it's financially or the terms within the contract, are protected as much as possible. Um, and, and again, that's aligning our goals with what their goals are. And we're, you know, and it's a constant back and forth. It's, you know, trying to goals change, uh, daily. And so trying to find out what, Hey, you know, uh, what's, what's your objective for post this season, five years down the line. Um, you know, they, those things change, but, um, as they change, you know, we try to adjust and help our clients as, as much as possible. Um, you know, the other thing, as I said, is, um, you know, you gotta be, you know, it frustrates me sometimes when I hear, when I'll get calls from clients who will say, or potential clients who will say, oh, I used to work with an agent and you know, how, how accessible are you? And that's crazy to me that, you know, someone would, would ask how, um, accessible I am because I mean, these days with all forms of communication, I mean, if for some reason I can't get back to a client that night, unless it's an emergency, you know, I'm at least texting them or emailing them. Hey, I'll call you tomorrow. You know, um, I never want my clients to worry if I'm, uh, if I'm not, uh, not there for them when they need me. Um, and so building that trust when they don't necessarily need me is critical. Um, you know, going back to kind of the meaningful, the meaningful hours thing. Um, you know, there's for my, for my area, um, you know, it's pretty, you know, we have busy seasons. Um, so kind of between, um, I would say March to, to June, um, March to June is probably July is probably our busiest time, but you know, August is still busy too, because, um, you know, even though coaches have kind of passed changing jobs at that point, we're still dealing with contracts um, and negotiations. Um, contracts uh, don't necessarily, some of them can get done in a day, and then sometimes they take months to get done. But, um, you know, the, the thing about contract negotiations is, you know, you want to be able to um, back up why you you desire what you desire it's not about i want this and and you want that it's okay why and coming to meet in in a common ground um and being able to show that you know this is the value behind the ask um you know i again you know i'm really invested and passionate in what i do and you know i think it i think it shows um i think it shows through um, it's not just about the, uh, amount of coffee I drink every day, but, um, you know, I'm always, I'm always thinking, I'm always on the go. I'm always trying to do new things, whether it's, you know, I, I can't sit still, whether it's, you know, making calls to my clients, texting my clients, sending emails to ADs, editing a client's resume, um, networking with administrators. I mean, I'm constantly doing something. And if you can find that investment to where, you know, you are constantly thinking of new things and new values to bring, I mean, that's, cr that's critical. Um, you know, the other thing that we did was, um, I, I formed what we call the Head Coach Training Center. It's a unique conference that you know no one else in the industry is doing. Um, it teaches coaches strategies to obtain a coveted head coach position and then be successful in that role. And we did it this May um, at Mohegan Sun uh, Pocono in Wilkes-Barre, PA. And it was, I mean, the reception was tremendous and it's only going to grow. And we incorporated athletic directors, senior women's administrators, coaches to teach coaches strategies to be successful in that role. And, um, and so that's just another thing that, you know, I'm doing to be able to not just help my clients, but help basketball in general, college basketball coaches in general is to provide something for coaches that can help in their growth. Um, obviously my coaches are always going to be the prior, my clients are always going to be the priority, but you know, as, as, um, someone who was a coach myself, um, and someone who is, um, you know, was an athletic director, you know, for me, it's constantly looking for ways to not just, you know, help my clients, but also look for little, little ways to help the profession grow. Um, if anyone has any questions, you know, feel free to drop them now. Um, thanks Daniel for the show me the money quote. 
appreciate that. <laughs> um, you know, but happy to happy to answer any specific questions during the next, I guess, nine minutes here um, that we have. I know I've kind of been all over the place, and um, you know, hopefully you pick up a couple different things. Um, as I said, you know, my my background is representing coaches, but um, there's a lot of people who want to represent players. Um, out there and representing coaches and players um, are, have a lot of similarities and a lot of differences. Um, representing players professionally, um, there's certain requirements in terms of um, being certified by the, the professional organizations um, in terms of a certain educational um, limit. And if, if anyone wants information on that, I'm happy to send it to them. Um, but every sport organization, the uh, Major League Baseball, NHL, NFL, uh, NBA all have different requirements for their agents, but they must be certified, pass an exam, um, they must um, have meet certain education requirements or um, successful negotiation requirements. So uh, for me, representing coaches, I don't need a certification to do it, but again, um, you know, that's where I go back to talking about your unique value and, and what's that unique value that you're going to bring um, that that's actually going to benefit clients. Um, you know, for for my unique value, having been a coach and walked in their shoes and having been an AD and negotiated contracts from that, and that's my unique value. But what what is your unique value going to bring? Um, the other thing with representing players is a lot of times the contracts can be um, relatively standard um, and the negotiation comes in in terms of whether it's uh, the finances, the guaranteed money, the bonuses, the uh, deferred compensation, whatever it might be, that's where the leeway comes in. Whereas um, for me, coaches' contracts, every contract is completely different. But, you know, there's certain things that we'll look for in terms of the compensation, um, in terms of the terms regarding termination, um, the bonuses, um, the, I mean, any little thing that might be in there. Um, we're looking at to to try to better our you know to better position our clients for being successful. Um, you know the other thing that I'll say is, you know, being being a, a fan of of basketball, you know, is is uh, as I said, you know, it does not get better than doing what I do uh, because being a small part of helping my clients reach their goal. Um, again, whether it's obtaining a head coach position or obtaining a much better contract for a longer term, I mean, those are the things that when I get that call from those clients, it never gets old. I still remember the calls. You know, if I look back on these pictures of, you know, the press conferences I've been at, I, I can remember every time that that client had called me and said, I was offered the job or, um, you know, hey, um, AD got your message, we're going to look at doing a new con I mean, contract, like, like stuff like that never gets old. And when you can have passion about that and when you can have excitement and enthusiasm about it, I mean, it, uh, it doesn't get better than, than that. But again, you know, the biggest thing to remember as an agent is that, you know, it's, it's all about your, your clients. Um, it's all about, you know, helping them reach their goals and being accessible to them and, um, you know, making sure that, um, you know, you're doing everything you can uh, to help position them to be to be successful. Um, and you know, sometimes there's stuff that they don't know that you do um, to be able to to help them. You know, for example, um, you know, when I'm on the phone with search firms for uh, all day or administrators all day, you know, stuff like that where um, you know it might not directly impact them then, but uh, three or four years down the line, if if that administrator that search firm is conducting a search, then the relationship I was able to build with them is able to enhance the credibility in terms of being able to present um, clients that we have. So, um, all right, well, do we have any questions before we uh, close up here? Okay, well, um, listen, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to um, attend the chat. Um, you know, hopefully you learned something. Again, I know I'm all over the place with, um, 
you know, with my thoughts, but um, hopefully you were able to pick up one or two different things to be able to, you know, translate that into you being successful. Um, I encourage you to follow me on social media. My Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat username is B D S T A N B D Stan. Um, and you know, you could have spent this time doing anything today. And so thank you for spending it. Uh, with me and you know with this winning edge pep talk um, remember to follow winning edge leadership on social media as well um, for twitter uh, and instagram at the we leadership um, and you know certainly don't hesitate check out uh, the bdsagency.com and my contact info is on there um, feel free to reach out anytime um, i'm happy to answer any questions that might be able to help in your career development so best of luck to you make the rest of your day great and um, you only get so many of them so i will talk to you soon